I think we can contribute by, by being here and being part of the dialogue and by sharing our stories around how businesses like BT are taking action to achieve the Paris Agreement. And so we share our stories, others can hopefully learn from those and we can inspire others to take action. I think also there's a relationship around collaboration between governments and companies and we mutually reinforce what the other is doing so we're supporting each other and working together. I came away from Paris thinking what should a company like, like BT do to live up to the aim of the Paris Agreement. So we have actually set a new science-based target which is on a one and a half degree pathway which is obviously the most ambitious aim of the Paris Agreement and in order to fulfill this target we need to reduce our carbon emissions intensity by 87% by 2030 against a 2016 um, 2016-17 baseline. So that means we're looking to, for example, decarbonize our fleet and our buildings. And I think that's an example of looking at a one and a half degree pathway. And I would encourage other companies to do the same. We also have a target to reduce the carbon emissions of our supply chain by 29% by 2030. Again, that's a science-based target that we have set.